Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys, and uh, I'm excited for today's video because it's different from my regular haul style videos. Today I'm doing outfits of the week, autumn winter outfits, back to uni slash school outfits. Kind of is going to be something for everyone, I think. I hope all of you are going to find something somewhat useful in today's video. And it's just, it makes a change from my kind of standard hauls. It's actually piecing together full looks, which I feel like so many of you guys have wanted me to do for such a while that I'm finally getting around to it. So, why do I always go into a normal accent? I don't know why. Um, I'm really sorry to everyone from up, up north that I just absolutely annihilate your accent, but for some reason I just do it. Today I am partnered with Pretty Little Thing, Pretty Little Thing, to bring you guys some winter awesome outfits. I did pick these in mind really for my uni people and like back to school people. Um, obviously you can wear these outfits. I've been wearing these outfits on the weekends, like in the week, whenever I want. But I just feel like if you are going back to uni, these are kind of like some core basics that are so good for your winter wardrobe. And guys, there are some gorgeous bits on Pretty Little Thing at the moment. Like, absolutely lovely. So obviously I will leave a link below if you want to shop any of these items. So that is enough rambling, and let's just get straight on into it. <laughs> Okay guys, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, then you know what to do. Please go down there, hit subscribe, turn the bell on if you want to be notified when I upload. I'll also leave a link to my Instagram, I'll put it on the screen right now. If you want to go check me out on Insta, I've actually already worn a couple of these bits on Instagram. I could not help myself, both these bags have been opened, I've had a good old route through. I just wanted, you know, wanted to try them out. So yeah, I have actually been wearing a few of these things over on my Instagram, so you can go check me out over there. And today we're actually filming in what will be my new bedroom. Sorry if it's echoey in here right now, there's nothing in here besides us and a roller carpet. So yeah, but I thought it would make a really good background because it's just super simple and you guys can see the items a lot better. So I'm gonna dive straight in. I'm gonna show you guys like my first outfit and then obviously we'll try it on and talk through it together. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start with the comfiest outfit of, it, of them all because I feel like everyone needs to own a pair of PLT joggers. Whether they're the gray ones, the black ones, the navy ones, whatever you want, they're my favorite style of joggers. So I did pick up a black pair. I have already been wearing these. That's why they're um, covered in fluff. I do apologize. They have the little embroidery that just says pretty little thing on the side. They're literally just the standard black high-waisted joggers. I grabbed these in a medium. Absolutely love them. I live in them. I think, again, if you are going to uni, everyone needs these. If you want to be at a lecture at 9 a.m. and you've been out the night before, you don't want to be putting together some fancy outfit. You want to put your joggers on. So I had to pick up a pair of PLT joggers. To go with my joggers, I did pick out a tee, just kind of like a graphic tee. I'm really into this at the moment. I've been seeing everyone on Instagram styling up graphic tees. I think you can wear them so many different ways. You can put them on with jeans, leggings, leather look leggings. I've got some to show you in a bit joggers like just everything so i really was vibing this devil wears prada one so i picked it up i just really like it i've seen these around quite a lot and i thought it was about time i got my hands on one then to go with this look i have some sunnies because i'm not gonna lie guys if you are at uni you need a pair of sunglasses even if it's february even if it's snowing i used to wear my sunglasses i must have looked ridiculous but i used to wear my sunglasses on campus because if you are looking a little bit you know, tired from the night before, staying up studying all night, then you need a pair of glasses, like, so you can just subtly walk into the lecture room, sit at the back, have your coffee, lift them off your head, write your notes, put them back on and leave. That was, that was my kind of look while I was at uni. So I feel like these together are gonna look really lovely. And then the pièce de résistance of this outfit, I hope the best till last, I did pick up an aviator jacket and oh my goodness, this one that I grabbed from PLT is so lovely and such good quality. It is just a black aviator style jacket. I think they do this in a few other colors, but for me, black is just the most easy to wear and I think if you're going to only have a few coats in your wardrobe in the winter time I think an aviator jacket is just a it's an like a must have it's such a staple for me I grabbed mine in the UK 12 they do come a little bit oversized but I wanted it to be that extra bit of oversized so that I could wear chunky knitwear under it in the winter time so let's pop this outfit on and see what we think here I am baby mm -hmm, I am feeling very sassy with these sunnies on, I can't, I can't lie. Like, I feel like if I walked around campus, people would be like, what on earth? I'd probably draw more attention to myself with these on, but I just, I love a massive pair of sunglasses. Can anyone else relate to me? And do you know what? The sun still shines in the UK. It's just not sunny, but I still wear these like when I'm driving my car. So 
I am definitely going to keep wearing these. I think these are absolutely fab. PLT do really lovely sunglasses, by the way. And if you're someone like me that either drops them on the floor or sits on them, not a bad place to buy sunglasses from. Let's start out with my favourite thing, and that is this coat. I honestly adore this. It's so comfortable warm i love the slouchy fit of it the lapels have all obviously all of the fur and the fur goes on all the way on the inside of the jacket i know a lot of people bring out these aviators but the inside isn't fully lined this one is i love all of the zipper details i love that it's all in silver because that's my typical go-to metal like on all of my handbags and like my rings and most of the time my earrings are silver i just happen to put some gold ones in for today's video but yeah, I really love the slouchy oversized fit of this. I just know that if I was at uni, I'd get so much wear out of something like this. Um, I've already been wearing it loads because to be honest, it's already getting really cold. But this is what the outfit looks like without the coat. Obviously you could throw on a hoodie over this. I probably would when it starts to get a little bit colder. I am really into this tee. I have just kind of like twisted it and tied it up at the back, but it does have more of a boxy fit. So if you wanted to wear it with leggings or maybe jeans and tuck it into some jeans, um, I just really like it. I like that it's quite a long, t-shirt and not tight like that's my worst thing and i think the thing is and was when you're getting into the colder months i don't know about anyone else but it's just comfort over everything for me this is what the joggers are looking like they literally are the comfiest things in the world they do have a little toggle type thing on the inside if you want to really like snatch your waist but to be honest with you when i'm wearing joggers i just want to be comfortable so yeah i absolutely love these i think the black is something that i probably get a lot of wear out of i wear the gray a lot but black just goes with everything very very cute super simple throw on a coat black on a pair of trainers i would literally turn up to 90 percent of my lectures in this sort of an outfit next up i have a little knitted cord i'm totally into these i'm loving the whole bodycon knitted skirt Thing. for me they're super comfortable i actually find these kind of skirts more comfortable than wearing like a pair of jeans i just really love them and i feel like you look like you've made a little bit more effort which i feel like is always the key whenever you're trying to put together autumn slash fall outfits you want to trick people into thinking that you've made more of an effort than you have so i opted for this little cord this comes as a set i grabbed mine in i believe i got this in a medium so it has just the knitted high-waisted maxi skirt really really stretchy i love the color of this it's a neutral shade everyone knows how i feel about neutrals i love then it does come with this little crop which i do think is super cute but i think when it is a little bit warmer you can get away with just wearing this together but i did pick out a jumper but the hoodie i picked out for this outfit is a hoodie that i've worn for ages i see on everyone on instagram and i don't own it and i was like why do i not own this it is the neutral pretty little thing jumper so i for one am obsessed with this color it's like a stony kind of neutral color just right up my alley i grabbed this in a medium and it is like ever so slightly kind of boxy so if you wanted to wear it with these joggers you totally can if you wanted to wear it with leggings you could it's a nice boxy kind of fit and I just thought with the skirt, it would obviously make this outfit a little bit more practical and kind of like autumn winter appropriate. Super quickly before I go and pop on the crop top with this skirt, I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like with this kind of tee. And this is another way that I'm loving wearing these sorts of t-shirts with these sorts of skirts. Obviously this is a little bit more loose and boxy, but I've literally just twisted it and tucked it in at the back. But I really like how this looks together. So if you didn't want to wear the matching crop top you could definitely go for more of a slouchy kind of oversized t-shirt and i thought i'd just show you guys how this looks before i pop on the full outfit so i am really really into this this is the little crop top with the skirt obviously you can like move this around if you wanted to have a bit more midriff out if you didn't you could put it right up which is kind of how i've got it at the moment almost so it kind of looks like a dress i am obsessed with the color of this cord it's a really comfortable knitted fabric so it is going to keep you like warm it's not like super thin I just feel really comfy in these kind of things and if you want to make more of an effort in the winter time and you still want to wear skirts like i still want to wear a skirt in that kind of autumn fall period before it gets too cold i think this is lovely i'm totally into this as a little cold um and it's a really nice length if you can all see i've come as far away from the camera as i literally can possibly get um i'm loving the length on this it's hitting me about my mid calf I think you could chuck on a pair of like white nikes you could do some converse with this if you wanted you could do some docks and kind of toughen it up a little bit pair it with that aviator jacket i am very much into this i love this kind of thing especially for fall and this is it with the plt hoodie oh my gosh this is so slouchy and comfy this is exactly how i would wear this when it gets a little bit colder i love the logo on the front i'm actually really into that and i'm obsessed with this color Obviously, you could like properly tie it at the back if you wanted to make it super, super tight, or you could kind of leave it loose and comfortable like that. I would probably just twist it up at the back like 
this kind of thing um because i quite like how that looks and obviously i'll throw on a coat and stuff i'm really into this i love all the neutral shades everybody knows that i do have another coat here from plt if you wanted to pair it with another coat other than that aviator this is more of that borg style coat which obviously is super popular i feel like it never goes out of trend yeah this one is just in a gray shade i grabbed this again in the uk 12 because i want it to be ultra oversized what i'm going to say about this coat is if you want it to be oversized but not too much stick to your size because it already comes quite slouchy oh my gosh it's like putting on a blanket like i feel like i'm walking around in a blanket right now so this is what the coat looks like as you guys can see it's literally huge on me but i really love that kind of fit i also own this jacket in a burgundy i'm totally obsessed with this jacket um something about it it just literally feels like you're wearing a blanket and if you're like me and you kind of used to roll up to lectures slightly hungover or feeling slightly worse for wear then a super big coat where you can literally do it up and hide from the world was so my scene when i was at uni and i really like these colors the gray mixed with the neutral tones i just think it's something a little bit different i don't typically wear gray so i'm trying guys i'm trying to change it up from my standard white and cream palette that i always wear okay so next up we have my favorite outfit yeah i'm super excited to share this one with you for one particular item which i have been wearing these literally to death i've not taken them off since i got them so these are from the money made collection and i tried to get them last time but they sold out i managed to get my hands on them this time and they are essentially a pair of high-waisted black faux leather trousers but they fit really nicely super skinny and they have all of this kind of zipper detailing to them now guys i actually wore these to the cinema which i think proves my point of them being comfortable because i'm one of those people that goes to the cinema looking like a slob but these are comfy so if you are at uni or school and you want a pair of trousers that look like this but you want to be comfortable in them honestly these are the one like i am completely obsessed with these i did get them in a 12 i possibly could have gone for the 10 because they are quite stretchy material so if you're in between sizes you could size down the top i'm going to team those with is this high necked nude little bodysuit just super practical i kind of feel like in everyone's wardrobe however if you wanted to wear those trousers with the graphic tee from earlier i've got another top coming up later you could style them with there's like a hundred different t-shirts and top options i feel like you can wear with those kind of trousers but for the sake of today's video i am going to pair them with this stone colored high neck bodysuit which actually would look really lovely with this skirt as well and that's what i wanted to do in this video i wanted to bring you guys a load of different items that you can sort of mix and match so you don't feel really restricted to having like a specific outfit in the video are you coming in the video harley oh do you want to say hello? Oh, say hello, look. Say hi everyone. Please subscribe. Please subscribe below. Like the video. Comment. No, no comments. Oh, you're so cute. So this is just the nude bodysuit. I love this. This is going to be really good when it does get a little bit colder and you want to add layers. You could pop on a piece of knitwear over the top or a jumper. But this is like almost like wearing a thermal. Like it's just super, super warm and very, very slim fitting, which I love, particularly with these trousers. This is what the infamous trousers are looking like. And guys, you all know I've been on the search for, I've literally been on the search for these and I found them and I'm just so happy. Someone actually commented that on my Instagram photo. They were like, have you found the perfect pair of faux leather pants? Yes, I have. Um, I'm honestly obsessed with these. I just, I think they're great. I, I know how many different ways I'm gonna wear them. So really, really happy that I got my hands on them. This is what they're looking like on me. And I really like how they look both with oversized t-shirts or if you want to do more of a slim fit like this one. I did pick out this kind of oversized, slightly white slash cream blazer. Let's be serious. It wouldn't be a George May haul if I didn't include a blazer somewhere along the way. Love a blazer. I feel like if you are at uni, a blazer is a probably a really good item to have if you do need something that's just going to make you a little bit more smart casual for any of those days maybe when you need to go in and meet a professor or someone or you just feel like you need to be ever so slightly smarter than your normal outfits i love the color of this i think it's really really lovely i grabbed this blazer in a uk 12 and it's because i wanted that boxy kind of oversized fit Oh, I've seen this blazer on so many girls on Instagram and I'm so happy that I finally have got it. Okay guys, so this is what this outfit would look like if you did want to pair it with an oversized blazer. I do really like these together, but I also think this would look really lovely with some like light wash jeans or even like dark wash jeans. Um, this is super kind of slouchy and oversized. I love this look at the moment. I'm really into the kind of oversized big boxy blazers. I've seen Miss Jocelyn rocking these all the time on Instagram. I'm really into the blazer look 
but I know it's not for everyone. Because I know the blazer is not for everyone, I have just popped the um, PLT hoodie on just to show you guys what that would look like. This is such a great outfit, literally. You look like you've made an effort, you've got like faux leather trousers on, but they're literally like wearing leggings, a really comfy slouchy hoodie. I love this together. I think this looks really, really lovely. I'd also throw a coat on like this aviator jacket. So let's just see what that looks like. Yeah, this for me would be like the perfect uni outfit. Super comfortable, slouchy, relaxed. I feel really, really warm in here. Just perfect for autumn fall. But you do look like you've made a little bit more of an effort than my everyday kind of looks, I guess, or like your everyday joggers. These honestly are fab, these trousers. I am obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with this jacket, obsessed with the hoodie. This is probably my favorite little outfit that we've put together so far. So next up, I wanted to do something a little bit different. This is for those of you that like this kind of jumpsuit or culotte style outfit. This is in a UK 12 and it is just a black wrap culotte jumpsuit. Again, something that's super great when you're at university. Has like a bit of a v-neck, a little belt attached to it. And again, you can layer this up with coats, hoodies, that sort of thing. But I know how comfortable these are. These are, li this is literally like when your pajamas out. Honestly, it's actually like going out in your pajamas, but you look like you made an effort. Okay, guys, so I'm super surprised at this one. I absolutely love this culotte jumpsuit. I really didn't think I was gonna vibe it as much as I do now I've popped it on. These are so comfortable, this kind of thing. It's almost like wearing a onesie, but like a, you know, like a smart onesie. I am obsessed with this. So this is the kind of front detail. It does go down into a bit of a V-neck, but I quite like that. I'm kind of here for that. This is where it is hitting me. It's kind of like, like half length again, but you could throw on a pair of trainers, almost like a big oversized coat. I feel like this would be great. This is so ridiculously comfortable as well. I am totally here for it. It's really easy. You don't have to worry about what to pair your trousers with or anything. It's all in one. I really like the fit of the top half here. I think this is super flattering, this sort of shape with the little cap sleeves. I really, really like this. And obviously I like the little added detail of the belt. So yeah, I absolutely love my board coat. Everyone knows that. It's super oversized and slouchy. And I just think with this kind of like outfit, it would work so well. You could chuck on a pair of trainers, do your kind of like crossbody bag if you wanted to, or if you're at uni, obviously you would have like a bigger tote bag. I really, really like this. I think it's super chilled out and easy, but super super comfortable i feel like everything i've shown you guys in today's haul kind of styling video is just comfort over everything okay and then the last outfit i have for you is something that i feel like everyone's going to be interested in these are a pair of striped kind of trousers now i always see kate hutchins wearing these i also own a pair of pretty little thing trousers like this i don't know if they're still on the website if i can find them i'll link them below but they're like a kind of neutral stone trouser and i have had them for maybe two years and i wear them all the time like they're the perfect thing because again they look like a trouser but they're so comfortable they, they they feel like wearing a jogger so i wanted to pick something similar up and that is what these kind of pinstripe black trousers are i just feel like they're a little bit smarter than obviously a jogger if you do need to go onto campus or just out and about in your normal life work if you work in like a smart casual workplace i feel like these are kind of like a practical thing to have in my wardrobe go with them is this top i've actually already worn this top sorry everyone i'm turning it back inside out this top i would also style up with the joggers from the first outfit you could wear them with the faux leather trousers you could wear this top with everything, with jeans, whatever you want. It is a basic little v-neck white top with this ruche detail on the side. So I've just popped on the t-shirt and trousers. I absolutely love this t-shirt. I think it's super, super flattering. I think, again, I've been wearing this a lot with like those black joggers from the beginning. You could wear them with the leather look trousers. I just really like the fit of it. Obviously it has this little detail. You can tie these up in a bow if you want, but I quite like the way they kind of just loosely fit like that. It is a little v-neck, but I really, really love the shape of this. I don't know what it is. I just think it's very flattering and then obviously i've just popped on the striped trousers again i feel like i'm wearing my pajamas i'm sorry everyone that this haul is so like slouchy and chilled out it's just that kind of vibe and i feel like if you're going into autumn my number one thing when it gets a bit colder is just comfort this is what the trousers are looking like they're kind of again hitting me at calf length i really really like them i think again they're going to be super practical in my wardrobe because they are a little bit smarter than what i would typically wear and i just really like them together i love them with this white top i think stick on a pair of white trainers and i would be here for it throw on a coat i like it okay guys and that was it for this pretty little thing autumn winter styling slash uni back to school goodness knows what i've ended up titling this video but that is it for today i really hope you did enjoy all of the picks that i selected from plt i wanted this to be a really realistic one i think when i do a lot of my haul videos people think i wear these like super put together outfits every single day 
I really don't. I'm really into actually like the chilled out slouchy vibe, especially because I work from home. So all of these outfits are things that I would literally wear in the week. Like this is like my Monday to Friday weekly outfits sorted to be honest with you. Just a few roundups of my favorites. I am so obsessed with the black aviator coat definitely a favorite of mine. I'm totally here as well for the knitted cord. That's something that I really like to wear in like autumn time, October kind of time. Um, I really like all of the little basics. So like the graphic tee from before this. And I think my kind of like wild card, the thing that surprised me was the clots. I really like that clot jumpsuit, super comfortable. And definitely something I would wear when I'm just chilling at home, like working from home. But I think my favorite has to be those faux leather look trousers. You guys know how bad I've wanted a pair of trousers like that. So to finally find a pair, I'm really, really happy about. I hope they're still in stock because I think some of you guys might be interested in checking those out. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to leave me a comment below. Please, please, please click the thumbs up. It really helps me out. It helps me work out what videos you guys are enjoying and vibing. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for your continued support. I love you all so, so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.